Hi! So we're doing some makeup today. I've worn makeup once. Oh. Since December. This is my second time putting on makeup, so bear with me. It's a bit of a rough video. Um, so today we're just gonna have a very laid back vibe. I'm just gonna be doing this makeup look. I'm telling you everything I'm using and showing you, of course, talking through it. I'm just gonna have a chat about life and just kind of like what we want from 2020. Um, but just kind of like my kind of changed opinion on things and kind of like makeup and videos and YouTube basically. And uh, I'm gonna let you know a cute story as well about a little friend of mine. So this is, I don't know what to title this video. Nice and simple, nice and laid back, giving you some good vibes here. So yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing today. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, I also quickly wanted to mention that um, I'm going to put my Instagram link linked in the description. Yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want because I want to start doing like makeup, like not tutorials, but like doing my makeup on my Insta stories and stuff like that. I feel like it'd be nice to kind of do like chill makeup on there. So I feel like I can test new products and stuff on my Instagram stories and stuff. So if you want to see me test even more makeup than like I won't upload on here then follow my Instagram, okay? So I'm gonna be more active on there and we're gonna be doing more bits on my Instagram. So basically, if you're not following on Instagram and you wanna see some more makeup, like testing makeup or just makeup therapy, that's what it's basically gonna be because I'm just home now all the time and I feel like I need to catch up with a lot of makeup. Okay, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna stop rambling now, so enjoy the video. We're, uh, we're filming. We're putting makeup on today. I have not put makeup on. Actually, I put makeup on the other day, um, literally the first time since December. Just the other day when me and my mum were going to the woods because I was feeling good and I was like, you know what, let's do a photo shoot in the woods with my kid, with my child. Um, I'll tell you the story about him because I'm very attached to him. Um, I'm gonna start picking out some Makeup. I've done my skincare by the way, um, so we're just going to be doing makeup and having a little chat basically to catch up on makeup stuff more today. So that was the first day I put makeup on just a few days ago and honestly it was. It took me like two hours and all I put on was a tinted moisturiser, cream, cream bronzer and cream blush because I'm like afraid of powders right now because my skin has gotten so dry with all the medication. A little bit of eyeshadow because I wanted to use a very iconic eyeshadow palette which happens to have Grogu on it. Good old colour pop. And mascara, that was it, that's all I put on and I put on like the tiniest bit of tinted moisturiser. I just, I just didn't want to put a lot of makeup on. My whole vibe with makeup has like changed now. Oh we're just getting into it by the way. Um, so we're going to talk about that, we're just going to talk about like how like my kind of like view on makeup and like everything has kind of like changed um i didn't even tell you what i'm using see we need to get me back into this also my face is like very swollen and i, I feel like i look like a bit of like a hamster you know when they store food in the cheeks like that because like it's just very swollen we're gonna embrace the hamster energy today so i'm using the essence Hello Good Stuff face primer. It's got hemp seed oil in. I've decluttered all my makeup by the way. So I'm gonna do a whole new video on my makeup collection now because it's just fully decluttered. I have barely any makeup now. I don't need unnecessary shit anymore. Okay, I'm over all that. And obviously my skin's changed as well, so I got a lot of any old stuff. We got rid of it. I actually really like this primer. I've only used it a few times. Um. I'm like so out of touch, I'm still catching up on like YouTube and stuff um, with like product launches because I've just missed so much. So I feel like my technique is going to be very different, um, kind of, and obviously it's t everything's taking me a lot longer to do, I'm a lot slower because my hands are still very shaky and very weak. Okay, so that's primer done, so I, I want to kind of like tell you the story of Grogu because I feel like it's very important to me. I'm going to do my technique that I kind of did good because I kind of feel comfortable with it. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm using first and then while I'm blending it out. So these are like new stuff that I got and then I just never used them, like I was ordering things 
even in like back in December when I was really unwell because it was just making me feel good but obviously I wasn't wearing makeup so I just have like this giant basket I'm not going to use all the stuff because it's like a lot so I'm going to use that in like a different video but I'm just going to use a couple bits so some new stuff that I've literally only tried once but I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and this is the shade 5.5 which is tan this is very very deep but I got it on purpose because I got it for kind of like a glow just kind of like around like the kind of like a bronzer glow kind of thing under the foundation or like tinted moisturizer for example so this is my technique um so I just kind of use it as like a just to add like a really nice glow kind of at the top like look how dark that is it's fine and then I'm just going to use a duo fiber brush this is the Morphe M436 and I just kind of start to just blend it in so it's going to look like orange kind of but it on top underneath but kind of blends out really nicely still and in summer obviously I can use this See what I mean? It just gives, you can see, look at that like glow that's given already. That's the vibe we want, that's what we want. Just like a really subtle but like natural glow and then it comes through over like the foundation or whatever you put on top. That's why it's like so nice. You can literally just put this all over your skin. I mean the match isn't that bad to be fair. Okay, so let's begin with the Grogu story on why I'm so attached to it. Tinted moisturiser that I've been using and that I really like. I've used it once, okay, but it wears really well throughout the day and it's been really good for the dry skin that we've got. It's the, I think this is quite new actually. It's the, well, I say new, but it's probably a few months old now. It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. It's got medium coverage and it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. It's got kombucha, filtrate and marula oil in it as well so that's great also I'm very pale I have lost all melanin in my skin this is the first time I've ever actually bought something in the shade light like same with I've got like the elf camo CC cream as well I have to order light so I got light medium 40 that's the shade and it's actually kind of perfect right now I go in with the Grogu story basically um this was in December okay I when I was like really unwell, my dad was just like, watch like a TV show, like it's something new to kind of distract you and blah blah blah. And he was telling me about The Mandalorian, which I've grown up loving Star Wars. My parents have always loved Star Wars. They love Star Wars, Marvel, Lord of the Rings. And they are like the three franchises that I now love the most. I love sci-fi kind of things and geeky stuff basically. I love all that. Um, so I already knew about The Mandalorian, but for me, I don't know, I'm kind of weird like this. Anything that's like overly hyped, whether it's music, movies. I never watched The Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure it came out literally like 2019 or something like that. Like it's been out for a while. So I started watching it and oh my God, I fell in love with it. Like it's actually so good. I honestly think it is one of the best TV shows I have ever seen. Of course, we fell in love with Grogu straight away because he's so cute, I mean, how can you not? And obviously I was unwell, I was like, oh my God, there must be like a plush toy or something of him that I can get and cuddle and have some comfort, you know? So literally I just put the lightest layer on, but like look how glowy and just like fresh it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in medium warm. Okay, back to the Grogu story. I'm just... So I was looking online, so this was like after Christmas, it was obviously, it's, um, like the new season has just come out as well so it's like everything was out of stock everywhere and it was only available for a pre-order for April, March and April. I was close to like pre-ordering it for like March or something and then I randomly saw it on the next website which is so random and they had it and it was like the pre-order was for February and this was like start of January. So I was like okay February is not as bad as March and April and the delivery was end of February. Kind of forgot about it. And then literally this is what kind of gets me. Um, so obviously my health started to get even worse, like my vomiting and like I just, just I, I went downhill. And then on the day that my parents, like we all decided that look, we need to take you to 
a &E, we need to take you into hospital. 30 minutes before we were about to leave, I was just about to get in the shower, before we were about to leave for the hospital, guess who arrived? And this was literally like a week after I pre-ordered it for March. And I had no emails, even to this day, like what day is it today? I think it's the 16th today, I don't know. This day, I still don't have a dispatch email from Next. I had the confirmation email when I paid for it. I don't understand. I do not understand. It shouldn't even be here yet. It's for the end of February or March. So I took him with me, obviously. And he's kind of big, right? He's kind of huge. I'm gonna use a bit of the concealer on my lids. Literally, do you see how little I used as well? I'm not using as much as I used to. Like, we're just very minimal now like i'm just over full like i got rid of all my full coverage foundations i think the only full coverage foundation i have now is my beauty bakery one because it's my favorite foundation but it's really hydrating so i'll allow it and like the hourglass vanish stick is it called the vanish stick i don't know um but i wanted to share the grogu story because i feel like if you look if you follow me on instagram or if you're just on my instagram page and you just look at it you're gonna be like why is she just like taking this little plush with her everywhere i'm not even kidding i take him everywhere so he i brought him into hospital with me like my parents were like don't do that it's gross like don't take him into hospital and i was like yo i need company so he literally took up all the space in my backpack because he's kind of big like he's huge he's not like the crappy ones that they did that look really like just no like look how cute he is i literally love him and so i was just so attached because like i was on my own in hospital i needed comfort so i literally slept with him he was very famous among the doctors the guys all loved him so um that was funny so he was he went through it all with me basically so i'm very attached to him brought him home i sleep with him i'm not even kidding if i go downstairs he comes downstairs Okay, so that's basically my story on why I'm attached to that kid so much. So that's basically the story time part of this video over. We're now gonna focus on the makeup. My skin isn't looking dry, thank God, look at it. But we're keeping it very minimal, very natural. I'm not gonna bake. I'm not even gonna put powder near my T-zone. I've been using like really light powders. So I think I'm gonna use the e.l.f. one actually. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is like nice and luminous as well, which is what I need. I cannot believe how dry my skin is. Like I finally under, like I thought my skin was kind of dry in the winter. Like I was like, oh, I've got combination skin. I get oily throughout the day. Now we are the Sahara Desert. Like look, I'm even using a tiny brush. I would bake with like a sponge, wouldn't I? I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just gonna very lightly. I have to change a lot. We're adapting, that's what we're doing. I also just wanted this video to just kind of be like talking about just some good vibes, you know? Like, it really upset me that I obviously didn't get to do my 2020 makeup favorites. That honestly really upset me. I feel like they're kind of like my, 28, my 2019 favorites are kind of like still my favorites now. I feel like I wasn't experimenting much. Obviously this year has been very insane, you know, with everything going on in the world. I feel like you kind of know, you kind of know what my favorites are. I think we're gonna do the eyes. I'm just gonna do a very, very basic eye look, like very quickly, but I'm gonna use a palette I haven't actually used before, which uh, I ordered this around Christmas. This was like my Christmas gift to myself. Um, I wanted to treat myself, so I actually placed an order on the Artist Couture website, which is Mac Daddy's brand. If you follow him on Instagram, Angel, I love him. Oh, squeaky. I love Angel so much. He's such a good, like, you can just tell he's a really good person. He's a cancer as well. We love a cancer boy. And he just has a really good heart, and he's just a, such a babe. I love his energy. His brand, though, we love. They are on Beauty Bay, but we barely have anything. They don't have this palette, which is kind of sad. So I did place an order off their website and just paid the customs because I really wanted this palette. So this is their Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette. Isn't this your dream? Like, don't even lie to me. You need this. You want this palette. 
I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look with this quickly for you. I'm not gonna talk through it because the video is already gonna be very long and I still wanna chat to you guys a bit more. So I'm just gonna zoom in, put the music up, and show you what I'm doing. This palette though, oh my god, the form, this is like one of the best, these are one of the best eyeshadow formulas I've ever used. You really have to tap your brush in so lightly because they're so pigmented, but they blend out so, so well. Like it literally took me like two minutes to do this look, like it's so quick. But there isn't like a like white shimmery shade, there isn't like highlight shade in the palette. So I'm gonna take the little Mandalorian palette from Colourpop. And I think I'm just going to use Precious Cargo, which is this one, because it's quite, it's, it's just a white glitter, but like I used it the other day and I really liked it. Actually, should I use white, right hand Mando? Actually, I think I'm going to use the silver, a little bit of the silver maybe. I'm going to get chatting again when I finish the face, so I'm just going to use the Essence long lasting eye pencil in hot chocolate and um... okay so obviously with my hands right now I can't do liner especially like my phone like I can't do winged eyeliner normally so like now yeah it's not happening for a while so I'm just gonna do what I was actually doing for a few months which I feel like everybody kind of does now which is just like use a brown, brown, a dark brown eyeshadow or like a black and just kind of wing it out. So we're gonna do that. I'm using the Brushworks, um, it's just like an angled eyeliner brush, I guess. Oh my God, that just went in my crease. Ah! This is so easy. Cause like the brush kind of works as like a kind of like an eyeliner stamp, but like you can just, cause it's angled, you can literally just like Stamp it and then just like wing it out. Okay, so let me just do my brows actually. I just realized I haven't done them. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Okay, so let's carry on talking about what I wanted to talk about in this video, which is just kind of like the vibe for 2020. 2021. Oh my god, I said 2020. 2021, okay? I didn't get to kind of do my New Year's, I mean, I never do New Year's resolutions, but like just with everything that happened and stuff, I feel like my mindset on just like a lot of things have changed, like my makeup being one thing, like just not needing an unnecessary amount. I got rid of literally over half of my makeup collection is gone. Yeah, I gave away like most of my makeup to like my little cousins. They like playing around with makeup and my aunt 
gave that away to them because I was like, I don't need all this. Like, I'm just over like buying makeup and things just to test from a video. Like, I know that's like what people do. And I loved that and I did it because that's what I loved at the time, that was fine. But now I just kind of see it as a lot of waste because when I was going through all my makeup, I was just looking at everything like the Friends collection, for example. I've kept one thing, which is the eyeshadow palette. The first one, that was basically all the waste. The contour palette, they used it like once and I've literally gotten rid of that already. Like, I just, and I have so many, I had, well, I had so many things like that that I would get to test just for videos and stuff and then I'd say, oh, I'll use this again and then I just never did. So I'm stopping doing that. I'm probably not gonna do a lot like testing crazy TikTok hacks. Like I'm just overdoing stuff like that. Um, you know, I thought they were fun and entertaining, but I just, I feel like, I don't know, like I've been doing YouTube for like a few years now and I feel like it's kind of natural to kind of feel a bit uninspired after a little bit. And I feel like the past few months, like, I've loved all my videos that I've uploaded. Like, it's not like I've been like, ugh, I don't like this video. Like, I won't upload a video if I'm not happy with it. I feel like I just kind of got, I don't know how to explain it, not like bored or like fed up, but just kind of burnt out. Like, I just kind of got a bit uninspired in the fact that how I kind of looked at my YouTube channel. Like, obviously it's my hobby and I love doing it and that's why I'm still doing it. But like, I think, especially the past few months, like over the Christmas period, like I was so busy at work and I was stressed with work and stuff. Cause like, it's just, it was like really busy and everything. And obviously in a freaking pandemic as well, over Christmas, obviously the, the stores that were open were limited. So we were just really busy and I was doing like really early shifts, if some of you guys might remember. That was a big change for me. And then coming home and like, doing my workouts and stuff like that. I was just being tired. I was just tired and I was drained all the time. And I feel like I was just overworked over the past few months. And obviously that wasn't helping what was going on inside of my body, which obviously I was not aware of. And then I kind of, I was coming back home. I was tired and I was like, oh, I have to film two or three videos for this week. I have to edit them. And I was looking at it as like, I have to. And that's not what I want like my channel to be. I don't want, my videos to kind of be like a chore if that makes sense we're gonna move on to blush now because this video is gonna be a million years long and i'm sorry but that's what we're here for i barely put any bronzer on should i put some more on i'm fine with that blush i have so many blushes to try i think i'm gonna use this sailor moon one which i never used i got I have both of them now this is like the shimmery pink one it's called cat's eye that looks so, oh wait, it doesn't go with the eye look. It really doesn't go with the eye look. I need something of warm. I haven't used much of this. It's also from Colourpop. It's the Pressed Powder Cheek in Crossroads. That is more this look. Like that's what I was saying about like my mindset and just like how I'm gonna be. Even I, for me going back to work, I'm very far away from that like physically and I'm mentally as well. Like I'm, I'm like, I, I'm, I got a long way before I can even think about going back to work, but like, when I do, like, I am gonna slow down so much. I have to, like, literally for my health. So we're just gonna be very chill, you know, on this channel. It's gonna be more self-care kind of videos. Obviously, I'm still gonna be doing makeup. I still will be testing makeup, of course, but it's just gonna be products that, like, I genuinely wanna use and I'm not just gonna be buying random collections just to test. So yeah, let me know what you think of that like are you happy with that like obviously still like send me like any videos that you want to see it's got glitter in it though which is a bit we didn't want that so yeah let me know what you think of that so that's kind of the vibe that we're going for, for 2021 we're gonna be... i can't keep doing that we're just gonna be relaxed we're gonna be chill we're not worrying about things we're just gonna be we're gonna be more positive about everything, especially myself. Um, I was like about to finish and was like, oh my God, I don't even have mascara on. We're gonna go with flower. We're gonna go with the Lash Warrior from Flower for mascara today. Do we look a bit more like me now that I have mascara on? But we're gonna set the face and then I'm just gonna put a lip on because we need some hydration in here. So I'm just gonna use the Morphe one, seeing as we had it out. 
and we don't even have any highlight on. So yeah, I feel like we just, I feel like everybody should kind of be like that now. We should all kind of take care of ourselves a bit more. Um, it's been a tough year, you know, <laughs> for everyone. Um, so I'm going to try and help you guys with that, hopefully. And just be a bit more positive, try and cheer you guys up like that. Okay, how do you work this thing? So I've got the flower, I think it's like a tinted lip balm. It's in the shade Nectar. It smells really good. You don't get a lot of product, that's all you get in, and this was like eight pound. It smells good and it feels really nice on the lips though. Okay, so um, this is it. This is the, the first makeup look back. I feel like I've forgotten something on my face. If I have, I'm, it's gonna be too late. Okay, so I guess that's it then. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it was really long. I know it's gonna be long. I haven't even edited it. I know it's going to be long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little chat. Um, next video, I can't remember what it's going to be, but we're going to just test some more things. I'm slowly going to get back into things. Don't worry. And yeah, as always, um, let me know any more videos you want me to do. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.